I'm Pete Murray. I'm the Marketing Associate at Firaxis Games. For Civilization V, we wanted to make this the most beautiful Civilization game we've created yet, and we've done this from a couple of perspectives. One of these is by creating a really beautiful world to bring the players in so they feel like they're creating the history of an actual world that they're going to be part of, and then by changing the user interface, so by pushing it out to the edges of the screen so that people are spending more time you know, involved in this landscape. We want you to feel like you're always in that world. The UI is there really to support your experience in that game world and shouldn't be something that comes between you and the game. The social policy system is one of the major gameplay changes for Civilization V. Um, it's there to sort of provide your civilization with ways you can fine tune it so you can uh, improve your ability to generate culture or to tweak the power of your military or improve your relationship with the other city-states in the world. And um, it's also key to the cultural victory in the game. There are different social policy trees, and if you complete five of them, you unlock a world wonder called the Utopia Project. And if you're the first player to complete that world wonder, then you win the cultural victory in Civilization V. So it's not just a way for you to really sort of make your civilization powered in a way that supports the kind of gameplay you like, but it's key to a victory as well, too. So there's lots of things you can do in the game to sort of improve your preferred way to win the game. I'm a big culture player. I really enjoy culture. So I find unlocking the piety tree early in the game is a, is a great way to push that along too. If you're sort of a diplomatic player, there's some cool interactions with the flavors of the civilizations and the social policy system. So if you start out as the Greeks, they have a bonus called the Hellenic League, which improves their relationship with the city-states. and you combine that with the patronage social policy tree and that can really power your ability to interact with these city-states that are sprinkled throughout the world. So that's a, another cool thing you can do. Honor is a social policy system, system that unlocks early on in the game that improves your military and the way it affects the rest of your civilization as well too. Uh, early on it's going to give you advantages against barbarians. Later on in the game uh, a big military will have less impact on your happiness which is important to keep your citizens functioning and your civilization humming along. One of the things John Schaefer, who's the lead designer on Civ 5, wanted to do was to really make uh, the civilizations feel like they were different, that they played very differently. Uh, he wanted to make sure that it, when you were playing the game, every decision you made had an immediate impact. It was something you really felt right away. And he's really pushed the design of Civilization 5 to emphasize this, this sort of change. And I think players will notice that um, as a change from Civilization 4. But it's still, at the core of it, it still is a civilization experience. You know, you start with a warrior and a settler at 4000 BC, and then you go through and you do, eventually you're launching spaceships to explore new worlds. Along the way, there's going to be all sorts of things that are familiar from previous versions of Civilization. We're just bringing new gameplay ideas to bear on them. So you'll, you'll recognize it as Civilization, but what we're doing with it is new and cool and exciting see. and it's what is making Civilization V distinct and not Civilization 4.2. Sid Meier's Civilization V is shipping on September 21st in North America and September 24th internationally for the PC.